to look at a dynamo which is going to uh, produce current. And as always, we're going to be uh, careful with uh, the experiment. Current with rotation. And that means that you can make one of these. <laughs> this looks dreadfully like someone took a pencil sharpener and made it into a dynamo. And it's really heavy. I think this is about the, the weight of the one I used to have on my bike. So if you turn this... <laughs> you, it's a serious workout. And what do you get? Almost nothing. So this is pathetically inefficient. But all this really is, is, is a rotating magnet next to a coil. Or a rotating coil next to a magnet. doesn't matter. You want relative motion. And this, of course, is a nice touch and a tribute to 19th century technology is, of course, an old-fashioned Edison type light bulb. A heated filament inside an argon interior. Argon because it doesn't, it's an inert gas. It doesn't combine with the filament, so the filament lasts longer. If you just turn these on and leave them on, they can last 50 years. It's the turning them on and off that destroys them eventually. Um, and we know this because, injudiciously, people have left light bulbs on, bricked up the basement, gone away, forgot that the light bulb was on. Fifty years later, people come back and break into the basement to change the building and go, the light bulb's on still. So they last a long time. It's turning them on and off that destroys them. Of course, getting light bulbs like this is now quite difficult. And the reason this is so hard to turn is I'm doing work to make pathetic amounts of electricity. These things were... Do you know how efficient these are, turning um, electricity into light? Not efficient. Not at all, they're pathetic. They're 90% heat and 10% light. And that means that this is a probably 30% efficient. So <laughs> to get a few watts here is several hundred watts here, which is exactly what it feels like. Good luck. Don't drop it. It's expensive to replace. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not great. Isn't that it's not great. Isn't that annoying? I took a break at the first push, is the hardest. Sorry, I just couldn't resist. Oh, the first push is. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard, oh, isn't it? And what is that gear doing on the other side? Is this like you chewing you up? Let's make sure. The first push is always hard. Yeah. It's like a workout. Like it's not steering like just solidify your knowledge, uh, describe why the current is produced by a dynamo, and what's going to happen if you were to crank in the opposite direction, and how can you alter the amount of current produced, maybe get a, a lighter, a brighter light, or indeed a, a, a dimmer one. And so other dynamos, there's a bicycle dynamo, and we're looking at a small cylinder on the left hand side uh, which is rotates uh, when it touches the rotating bicycle wheel and that's going to rotate the magnet in the same way as we looked at at the other diagram. Uh, so here it is in place on the bicycle uh, within the blue circle on the left hand diagram and you can see the rotating cylinder against the wheel uh, and a wire then going through to the, uh, the lamp at the front and indeed a rear lamp if, if you want one. So there are other resources you can pause to um, see this and see the uh, uh, search words that you can put in or indeed the, uh, the whole URL um, and here are a couple more um, including um, how to make a simple dynamo through WikiHow. Uh, so thank you, Mr. Godwin, your 10th grade class and team science at Washington International School.